Greetings, friends. My name is Dr. Philip Carter from Emmanuel's Ministries. I want to continue with my uh, short video series on title, I Will Return. This is reference to Jesus' return. And uh, I'm bringing to correlations from what he said in his word as to what we are seeing today. So we begin with Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, where the disciples asked him three primary questions, and we're only going to deal with one of them. He said, they asked, what will be the sign of your return? And, and so I want to for us to address from Matthew chapter 24, verse 37 through 39, it, it speaks of, it says, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the son of man. And Jesus himself, he called himself the son of man. He said, before I return, this will be the correlation as to what you can expect. As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be right before my return. And then he gives some indications. He gives some illustrations of what happened or what was going on during the days of Noah. It said they were eating and drinking and giving in marriage and marrying, doing all these things, fleshful desire. In another scripture, it says that every thought of the heart was evil continually. And it says something also that's very disturbing. It says that God saw the wickedness of man and he repented that he remade man upon the face of the earth because they were so wicked. Now, when Jesus said they were, they were so wicked, that's what he's saying. As it was that day, they were given to pleasure and they were so wicked. They would, there was murder. And, uh, the hatred was just extreme. And so he said, now take that photo if you may, and compared to what you see today. And this will give you a very clear indication, a correlation that my time for returning for my church is near, very near. So we see what's going on today. The world is full of violence, murdering, uh, kidnapping, all types of things, uh, selling the souls of men. Uh, so we know that this is happening, but sometimes we many people are not thinking they're not thinking about god they they do not have god on their mind so they they don't do a excuse me they do not do a comparison as to what they see as to what jesus said but we are seeing that and i want to encourage you as you continue to look at what's going on don't be discouraged just know that the time for christ's return is drawing closer and closer as we get to this point now he's coming soon so be encouraged you see that you see the events that are occurring right before you all around the globe things are happening and it's, evil men are getting worse and worse this is what jesus said so they're getting worse than before eight billion people are so on planet earth today and the the crimes in against humanity uh, is unheard of it's exponentially increasing so he want us to be encouraged as his believers Just keep spreading the word and i ask you to take uh, note of your life. If you are not saved, you need to repent and ask the Lord Jesus as you're coming to your life as your savior. He's the only one that can deliver you from the torments that are coming ahead of us. So you be encouraged. And I ask you as uh, believers, share this video with others. Even if you're not a believer, if you're encouraged by it, share this video with others. Because I want you to be a part of me helping me announce what, what God is telling us to do. That get people ready. Let them know, sound the alarm, that he's coming soon. And he is coming soon, whether you believe it or not. Don't get caught off guard. Be ready. All the signs are there. Be ready. Be ready. In Jesus' name. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you.